Welcome, everybody, to this week's podcast episode for the Financial Freedom Podcast. And I'm your host, Dr. Christopher Liu. As you know, I talk about four different types of freedom, time, financial, location, health. And in that light, I'm always interviewing entrepreneurs, creators, influencers on the cutting edge, making an impact. So today, I'm really happy to welcome Chris Anderson, and he's helping others elevate their brands through video content. So if you're a video content creator, this episode is for you. He is the founder and CEO of Elevate Media Group, a full-service podcast production agency for six to seven figure business owners. And we'll, t- we'll hear all about his story. He quit his job cold turkey during the pandemic, which I love to hear. And um, and I'm really happy to have him on the show. So Chris, welcome. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Uh, yeah, you and you and me, uh, we connected through Podmatch, and you know, you quit your job in cold turkey in 2020, and I did it in 2008. So, um, and uh, it's, so I love connecting with people that just go for it, YOLO. And uh, yes. <laughs> for sure, um, uh, tell us more about yourself, and uh, we'll go start. We'll start from there. Sure. So it all kind of started with uh, my podcast in 2019, um, and at the time was named Pencil Leadership, and. Um, just was wanting to learn from entrepreneurs and, and, and figure it all out and, and figure out maybe, maybe I could start a business one day. Maybe I could do something on the side and, uh, you know, grow something because I'd heard so many people be able to do it. And then, you know, 2020 rolls around and, you know, just get the, the feeling like I should just quit my job and start a <laughs> business, which I had no idea what it would look like or how I would do it. Just felt called to do so. And, um, you know, my wife and I talked about it, prayed about it. And ended up, you know, taking that leap uh, right when the pandemic hit, hit here. I gave my company that I worked for four week notice. Two weeks into that, last four weeks, I got furloughed because of the pandemic. And so the last two weeks, I was at home, got, not getting paid for them anyway. So it was basically done. And I was on to, you know, trying to build a business and figure it all out. And yeah, and now I'm here and, and have Elevate and we're doing fairly well and just looking to continue to grow and help other people elevate their brands. So yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And, um, you know, recently, you know, especially after COVID, um, a lot of the guests on the show, they basically, you know, did what you did, what we all did, and basically just went for it, took a leap, like skydiving. Um, so for the listeners out there, a lot of them, they have like, you know, these full-time jobs, they six figures, they invested a lot. And so tell them, like, they're, they're interested in entrepreneurship because they see there's um, no way out. So why was how, what was quitting your job with no revenue coming in from business like, and why did you do that? Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I don't recom- necessarily recommend it for people because uh, it, it just adds a whole another la- layer of, you know, stress, anxiety, and and you know we got to get this done quick kind of thing, uh, which can sometimes muddle your your decisions just because you're wanting to have some sort of revenue, which it did mine for a while because you know I I was trying to make something happen that wasn't a good fit for me in, in in business. And it finally, you know, led me to elevate and I kind of leaned into it, but yeah, I mean, you know, some of the things like not having any finances coming in all kind of dwindling, dwindling our savings down was a big thing that we were like, Oh, okay. How much longer? (laughs) Like, when's this going to start happening? And so, yeah, not, not for the, not that I'm anything special, but not for the faint of heart to, to do that, especially if you, depending on what your lifestyle is and what you're trying to cover, you can definitely build something on the side just as, just as well until you can replace that income. And yeah, so I learned a lot with that, you know, really figuring out who I help and how I help them and and then just sticking with it. Yeah. I love, I love that, you know, sticking with that. And you actually, you focused on um, video, especially video and podcasting. So mm-hmm. tell us, you know, why is that, you know, why did you choose that? And, um, we'll go into questions from there for sure. So when I start, actually started my podcast, I, I did video from the get go. Um, and that was 2019. So not super long ago. Um, but still a lot of people starting podcasts were just doing audio back then, even then. Uh, but I saw that there's a gap with podcasting. Um, and you know, you, you know, YouTube has channels, things like that, but like, if I can record all these episodes with these people I'm speaking to, and then utilize those out there in social media world and in the metaverse or whatever world you're in, like that's going to, that's going to carry a lot more weight than if I'm just putting out things that are audio where people can't see me because when we're virtual, 
and you don't necessarily know people, the next best thing is at least to be able to see and hear them at the same time. Uh, and so that's kind of what I went with because I saw the, I saw the potential and I saw, you know, technology wise, like everything's going to be online. And if it ever, if it just stays that way, mm -hmm. like we've got to show people how to utilize the video aspect to grow. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just evolved from there. And then again, kind of like I said, like I, I figured it out and I just, we've just been sticking with it since yeah it's um did like video especially um because podcast i heard first heard about podcasting in 2018 at south by mm -hmm. southwest and is is mainly i i chose it just because it was like because i missed out on like youtube and mm. like, i couldn't grow on youtube and you know tick you know instagram and so i chose like um podcasting and tiktok and then just it just you know parabolic and just untapped opportunity and um and then like videos you know people are like listening but um you know some people they they're camera shy or they don't mm -hmm. you know feel like you know what is uh what if what do you say for people who don't think they should be on video yeah and it, we hear that quite often like you know i'm just nervous to be on camera or you know i don't know what to do on camera i don't feel comfortable on camera it's like i understand completely um when i first started i hated being on camera i hated how i sounded i hated how <laughs> i looked on camera and you know to build a, a brand especially now everything's so heavily online people have to know you and that means actually seeing you and, and the best way to do that is through video because you know if they don't know you're not going to grow mm. and so you've got to to be seen and you've just got to start because you can't improve you can't get better you can't get more comfortable with it unless you start uh and so you've got to you got to get outside that comfort zone and break through that fear barrier to get to that next level. Um, because if not, you know, stagnancy, you know, that, that just means death in a business. If you just stay in the same spot and don't grow and don't, you know, improve and innovate, then you're yeah. kind of the way of the dodo. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, just like I said, zoom and, um, podcast, tell us, I'm kind of curious because, you know, a lot of people are interested in podcasts. What are the difference between podcasting and having a YouTube channel or mm -hmm. if there's like a synergy or a blend? Um, the yeah, there's there's a good synergy there because, I mean, you're, if your time spent the same, so you're recording the episode in video format, but you can take the audio from that video and, you know, put it through all the podcast directories through your host site. So you're automatically getting out in front of all that, um, you know, podcast versed uh through those directories and then the youtube channel is another search engine with that long form content that you're posting out there for people to search and find and, and go grab that information but then from there the the big thing that people don't realize or sometimes don't realize is once you have that video recorded it becomes so many pieces of micro content from there that you can then use on social media on your website again to be seen more by your audience, which then is going to help you grow by bringing in more clients, which is going to help you help more people. So uh, it's a numbers game. It's a consistency game. So the more content you can create and put out there that matches what your audience wants, uh, the better you are going to be growing and, and helping more people and, and getting more revenue from it. Yeah. What, um, and you did this through elevate media and what, what's that, um, what's your journey been like building elevate media? Yeah, I mean, it'd be be transparent. It's a roller coaster. You know, there's always ups and downs uh, building a business, and you know, I don't know everything. I didn't know a lot <laughs> starting <laughs> out. I just knew that I uh, was determined to make something work and, and figure it out along the way. And so, you know, really leaning into people who were successful and who had done it, getting mentorship, um, investing into programs that were tailored towards what I needed at the time. Um, those investments, you know, really helped me uh, to to build out, to understand and structure the business better. Um, and I'm still learning. I'm still implementing new things and growing in different areas. But, you know, as you grow, I heard a long time ago is, you know, new levels, new devils. You know, as you're expanding, and as you're scaling, it becomes a whole different thing you're quote unquote worrying about. You know, when I first started, it was uh, you know, how are, um, how am I going to make some money and provide, you know, <laughs> how are we going to make ends meet? My wife's a teacher. So that's like nothing here in Indiana. And, uh, so now 
three years later, it's like we're we're worried or we're not worried, but you have different obstacles you're trying to overcome and you almost forget where you came from sometimes. Like I've had to remind myself, like, remember you quit your job and had zero, nothing. And you tried to build something that was completely off and it failed and then you pivoted and now you're here and now you're worried about like, how do I get to the, you know, 50K a month type? Like it's a whole different mindset shift and if we don't remember where we came from and what we've been through, we can kind of get lost and forget like, hey, we've overcome before. We've we've made it through these obstacles or obstacles before. Like we're going to do it again. Just keep moving forward. Very w- wise advice. And, um, you know, as we're, you know, we're kind of coming to the close and um, one is uh, one question is um, how did you get elevate your brand to the top 2% globally listen to shows and it's charted on multiple charts worldwide? Yeah. I like this question because, you know, some people might assume that, oh, he's got probably hundreds of thousands of followers. And so subscribers are super high, probably thousands per episode. Uh, I'm not going to get there. And it's awesome to say, I mean, it's awesome to say I don't have that many. (laughs) Now, I would love to have them, of course. and, And we're striving to continue to grow to that. But, you know, we don't have thousands per episode you know, listening. We don't have hundreds of thousands of followers. Like we're, of course we're growing. We're conti- continually like bringing more people into our audience, but like you don't have to have that many. What's helped us get to that 2% globally listened to show and charted in multiple countries and in the, in, a, in the US on Apple and things like that has, has truly been the consistency and improvement along the way. Um, and even then, you know, we're just coming up on 200 episodes here soon it's not like we have thousands and thousands of episodes this you know we just were consistent and put out an episode every week since mm. we started mm-hmm. and now we we just now this year 2023 expanded that to putting out three episodes per week so like we're completely you know 10xing what we're doing content wise but just staying consistent with it don't get discouraged. Don't pod fade. Don't give up and continue to improve mm-hmm. and tailor your message and tailor your format and you'll continue to grow and, and make it because so many others in the realm of podcast are backing off. Mm. They don't see the direct correlation to revenue. They don't see the direct benefit of having it because they're thinking so short term mm. with it. So you see so many people now just leaving their show or giving up or stopping for whatever reason, and some, I mean, they're, they're plausible reasons, but some are just, you know, it's not making me money. It's not, I'm not Joe Rogan yet. And it's, <laughs> you got to stick it out. And it, the indirect correlation between the podcast and your business growth is there. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. Uh, there's a quote is like, um, Rome wasn't built in a day. And, uh, it's like, it's like people, uh, overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. And it, I love that quote. And it makes me like, I think of it like regularly, like even on my journey, I'm like, it's been only like a little over a year with Elevate, like specifically Elevate. And yeah. where we've gotten in that year, I'm like, if I if I just continue what I'm doing, there's only room for improvement and growth. Like, yeah. I've already learned so much. Like literally all I can do is just continue to get better with what we offer and how we provide that service. Like in 10 years from now, if I yeah. stay the course, like that's the plan. Like, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, you know, like just like what you just said, like stay the course. Um, and it's just, uh, it's exponential. Uh, what, uh, any questions on, um, or any words of wisdom? I know you, you know, um, if, you know, faith has been a um, big part of your journey and, mm-hmm. you know, regardless of, you know, universe or uh, tell us about like faith and how it's like the universe will show up, um, you know, provide and kind of give you direction. You know, there's a great book. Universe has your back. Hmm, okay. I don't think I've read that one, but yeah, yeah. Um, for me, yeah, faith has been huge. And, you know, for me, faith is, you know, in God and, and, so like that starting out was was literally him like hey i need you to trust me on this like i think or he telling me like you need to start a business quit your job and start a business and me like uh what (laughs) kind of thing but like along the journey like after i quit like in those really really low valleys of like how in the world are we going to be able to continue to make student loan payments or make payments or whatever it was like 
in these exact moments, like he showed up and the president paused student loan payments, like just like things that just perfect timing that like no coincidences, like, or like when I finally stopped fighting, like the business direction and lean into elevate and what it was about, got our first reoccurring client monthly. And mm -hmm. then we're able to pay for things like, and then when our son came last year, was born in 2020, uh, excuse me, in 2021. Okay, that's a new level of it. Uh, we're going to make a little bit more money and just things kept growing. Just just those whole times, just like completely shown up when we've needed stuff. And, you know, I always tell my wife, like, from, from our perspective, like he provides, like he does. He promises to provide and it might not be millions of dollars. It might not be, you know, becoming $50,000 a month right away. Like, but what we need has shown up when we needed it. So um, it's just been a cool journey that, you know, plan on writing about one day and, and sharing that with the world as well. Yeah. It's really awesome. Cause uh, you know, the way I was, I'm talking to a lot of, and then people talk about like money and then people think mm -hmm. you just have to hoard, like, you know, you have to hoard like $20 million and you know, <laughs> it's, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like, sometimes you don't need that. You need like, cause money is like a, it's a resource and it's just basically mm -hmm. energy. So yeah. you, you need it just to move forward. So you, you may yeah, not yeah. need like 10 million, maybe, you know, maybe you need like, you know, yeah, because like if all of a sudden, like if all of a sudden we were we were given ten thousand or twenty thousand a month, fifty thousand a month, like all of a sudden, like that seems like it'd be great, but we don't know how to manage that yet. Like we need to learn how to manage, you know, the five k, the ten k a month from the business, and then when we get to those new levels, we're gonna have those structures in place. Like okay, twenty k, five fifty k a month is like nothing. Like we have those structures, we understand, and we we stewarded it well. We were hmm. good stewards of that previously with the the smaller amount yeah. and, and so now we're prepared just like if you were to go from you know if if you today if we came into most people's businesses and gave them 100 clients it would crumble because yeah. they're not prepared for it yet and it's it's thinking big picture long term versus i want this right now mm -hmm. because in, in all reality we're not ready for all that could be coming our way yeah awesome i love this conversation talking about faith and like um, branding and video or podcasting uh how can people i know check out your podcast um follow you on social media and reach out to you yeah elevate your brand on all podcast platforms on youtube check us out there as well um and then yeah connect with me on instagram at chris.t.anderson my dms are always open to answer any questions and help how i can so yeah yeah, and uh, for all the listeners out there, be sure to check out uh, Chris's um, podcast, Elevate Your Brand. He's also on YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Facebook. And um, with that, thanks for a great conversation, and thanks so much for adding value to the audience. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it.